Okay, so I gave him my rant and some of my beliefs and how I feel about certain subjects. But it's the truth, man. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth as best that I know it. You know, as best as I was able to unravel it and able to figure it out and able to capitalize between the age of 47 and 53 and putting on over 20 pounds of muscle. It, it, it just worked. The efficiency, the time under tension, choosing the right machine, uh, and capitalizing on all this just works. It is science. It is proven science. You're going to see article after article after article in the magazines where people are squatting and they got spray sweat on them and where people are doing one on dumbbell rows, you know, with their curves showing. These women with their boots and their curves showing do one on dumbbell rows. This is propaganda and everybody falls for it and everybody sees it and everybody emulates it. I was no different from you. And I thought, you know, earlier, because I was doing a local contest, back in the 80s and the 90s, weighing 200 pounds, rip, that I was the bomb. And I told you before, I was just a firecracker then, man. But I thought I was the bomb. At any given time, your body is a reflection on the weight that you are currently training. Now, I, I know this, like, well, this doesn't make sense. Like, of course my body is a reflection on how I'm training. But if you're not training correctly, your body is reflecting that. But through the volumization of the muscle, the size of the muscle, the separation of the muscle. So you may think that you found the holy grail of training uh, based upon your, how your body looks at that point in time based upon your training methods. But something has to change to get you out of the pack. Something really has to change to elevate you out of the pack. So you've got to try to understand what I'm telling you here and, and give it a go. I didn't want to give it a go. I would have told you you're full of it if you tried to tell me not to squat. I used to squat, I squatted 315 for 32 repetitions, that's the floor. I, I would squat sets of 405 and sets of 12, man. Outside the power cage, me and my buddies. People would sit around and watch us bang this shit. I was the king of the power cage. It didn't work. It worked by killing my back and killing my knees. I got some modest, the less modest gains on my quadriceps. I got rock hard glutes, but I got a broken back and I got a broken knees and I never achieved the quads that I have now until I understood about time under tension and how to create it and create it correctly. Squats aren't going to cut it. Now I'm going to get a lot of feedback on this, probably people see this and they're going to tell me you're full of it. They're going to tell me I'm full of it because they've slaved away week, month, year after year after year in the power cage and they don't want to hear that I wasn't maximizing my effort doing all this. They're going to, they're going to argue with me. But you have to look at the science, you have to look at the approach, you have to understand what I'm telling you, and you've got to shake your head, yeah, this guy is right. He, he, he is laying it out for me. And I'm only doing it for you. Yeah, I have all these videos down here, and, and what I'm really trying to do, I'm really trying to show you something or prove something to you, that you can make the gains that you are after, and you can make them a lot faster than what you anticipate. Don't believe that it takes forever, that you have to go for a year and for a year and for a year. You'll go for year and for year and for year because you just love it, you just love weight training. But you can capitalize on your hypertrophy, on your physique, based upon your genetics, and it does not have to take that long if you can just understand the real meaning of bodybuilding and weight training. You can build a fantastic physique out of this world physique, never touching a free weight. Your body doesn't know whether you're using a free weight or you're using a machine. It doesn't understand that. It doesn't know. It only knows to capitalize on the amount of resistance you're using for the time under tension you're applying to the muscle. Key. Okay, what I got on here now, I stuck another 45 on here. I stuck a plate holder in the back, I got two in the front, I got uh, one in the back, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and see how that goes. So that's really okay what you've seen. 
You know, if you can't draw perfectly on four, and you're almost done the failure, keep going. I cannot increase the weight. Five more pounds, I probably wouldn't have even got four. 